वेलकम एवरी वन वेलकम टू दिस ट्यूटोरियल ऑन गूगल अर्थ इंजन दिस इज एन इंट्रोडक्शनरी वीडियो टू गूगल अर्थ इंजन सो लेट एस क्विकली सी वॉट इज गूगल अर्थ इंजन गूगल अर्थ इंजन इज अ क्लाउड बेस्ड प्लेटफॉर्म डेवलप बाई गूगल फॉर प्लानेटरी स्केल जियो स्पेशल एनालिसिस इट प्रोवाइड्स एक्सेस टू अ वास्ट अमाउंट ऑफ सैटेलाइट इमेजरी एंड जियो स्पेशल डेटा सेट्स along with the powerful tools for processing it as well as for visualizing the data google earth engine is also known as gee which is widely used for environmental monitoring environmental monitoring land use analysis and climate research its javascript and python api enabled both interactive and automatic workflow so how google earth engine works so let us see that google earth engine works by allowing users to run geospatial analysis on google's cloud server using satellite imagery and geospatial data sets users writes scripts it may be javascript or python that process the data without needing to download it enabling a fast and scalable analysis so what are the advantages it offers a fast scalable processing of large geospatial data without requiring a local storage or high end hardware it provides access to a vast amount of remotely sensed data sets enabling a real time environmental monitoring and analysis you want to start using this website you need to first sign up so now search and for google earth engine you can see this link i'll be sharing the link in the description section now you can see the option get started so click on it so you will be asked to sign in using your google account you can use a google account for it and after that a page like this will be coming up so in this you can find register your cloud project click on register and inside that you can see two registration options one is for commercial and one is for non commercial use so please uh, click on non commercial use if you are a learners or researchers so here you have to fill some details like you have to select the organization type then followed by check uh, commercial eligibility choose your plan and describe your work so let me choose it so i'm going to choose this uh, google earth engine train uh, trainer or training and click on next or you also use some other options for example you can use public or private academic institution faculty staff and students click on next so what is your name of academic institution you can provide such details and finally a review uh, will be coming up after a then click on register so within uh, 15 to 20 minutes max i got registered to it so it might be varying based on uh, the individuals it might be taking one or two days also so i have registered it uh, and i got it in uh, 20 to 30 minutes after registering yourself go back to the google earth engine website and inside the platform you can find code editor if you uh, click on code editor you will be you will be directed towards it will be directed to a uh, page like this publication you can see this uh, script area the white blank space in the center this is nothing but the script area where you can write your custom scripts so in the bottom you can find the maps where your results are shown up in the left upper corner you can find scripts documents and assets so if you click on cross scripts here you can find the example scripts and If you are writing any scripts, you can save that, and you can find it under this section owner. In docs, you can find all variables and functions provided by the Earth Engine. If you click on it, you will be finding more info about this. Now, in the assets section, you can view the uploaded data sets and import to the Google Earth Engine as well as. you can also save your 
results here. In the right, there is another window. So the first is the ins inspector tool. You can use this tool to inspect the layer on the on the map. So for example, if I just click on this region, you can find the uh, lat long of this region, zoom level. If there is any layer, you can find, for example, if you have a dim layer, you can find the pixel value of this uh, dim layer or satellite imagery. If you have uh, uploaded any shape files or GHSN file, you can click on identify what the features is all about using this inspector tool. So the next is console where the output from the JavaScripts will appear here. For example, if you type print and here let me say if I run it you can see here so finally you can see the option task for example if you export any images you can see it view it in the taskbar what and all activity you have done what a kind of layer you have produced that can be viewed in this taskbar section there are some more other options for example if you want to save the script you can use the option you can click on save as and you can save your script and you can see the function run where if you want to run any script after entering the script you can use this option to run it and visualize it visualize the results you can also reset it for example if you click on reset and if you move back here and click clear script you can see that it will be clear the script will be clear so likewise you can also share the script we are using this get a link where you can share this or, or you can also manage the links if you want to search for any data you can use this option search option at the top and you can search in for any data set so for example here let me type landsat 8 image and let me hit enter so here you can find a lot of uh, results coming up from landsat you can click and view it if you want you can use this option to copy and you can directly import it to the google earth engine you can also search many data sets are available so i'm just showing you for example so you can see in sentinel you can see sentinel 5 sentinel 2 harmonized likewise you can check on large numbers of data is available i hope you have understand what the google earth engine is all about so from the next video on we'll be going into the codes thanks for watching Goodbye.